So from the given question, as a continuation from what we had, uh, this is still applications of our 2D uh, trigonometry. We are given that the oil rig in the photography, that is our oil rig, has the width of BC, all right, which is the whole part here, the width of the oil rig is what? 50 meters. The angle of elevation from B, which is the point that we are seeing to the top at A there, is 32 degrees. And from C to A, 55 degrees. Calculate the height of AD, which is the height of what? Of the rig. So the question is, how can we calculate that height of AD? Remember, angle of elevation, there's, we had this one from our grade 10 mathematics. At the end, we said we are going to have a right angle, the triangle from those angles of elevation. We have properties that can be applied from a triangle. From a triangle, which is a right angle triangle. There's right angle triangle ABD and also ADC. Why? This is a straight line. Remember, angles on a straight line. So if this is 90 degrees, therefore it follows that we've got what? A 90 degrees there, ADC. 1, 8 minus 90. So they are both right angled, this one and this one. And there is A, B, C, the outer triangle, this one, the outer triangle, which is a non Right angle to triangle. So we've got a combination of three triangles there. Anyways, let's see what we can do uh, to determine the length of AD. All right. If we are to consider properly there, it is, uh, it is in your hands the way that we're going to work with. It is either we're going to calculate from the outer way or we can say, since AD is a common side, AD is a common side, right? So since AD is a common side, a common side for both triangles, let that be equal to X. So let it be equal to X. So we are going to let AD be equal to x. I want you to see something there. If we let our AD to be equal to x, we can rewrite our triangles. We can rewrite the trigonometrical ratios application in terms of x. Take note, 50 meters, this one, don't be confused with this 50 meters and divide it into two. No, that's wrong. There is no equal distance that we are being told there, that there is equal distance. The 50 meters is from B to C. So what you can do is with that X, which is your AD, separate and find in terms of X. In terms of X. A, D, C. A, D be this triangle here. This is X. There is what? 32 degrees there. All right? There is also another part. We separate from the same AD. I want you to see what was going to happen. There. We separate it like this. We separate it like this. This is A. This is a D. This is C. Remember, 90 degrees. AD is what? It's X. The same AD. It's common length, this one. And there is a 55 degrees at what? At C. All right. With X that we do not know, let us find B, D in terms of X and also D, C in terms of X. Why? B, D and D, C, they form B, C. So we can form an equation in X and solve it. So we are going to find B, D and D, C in what? In X, in terms of X. From the separated, remember we separated this figure here. It is now, there are now two triangles, right angle triangles. So let's find BD. From where? 
from triangle ABD, we can find uh, BD from there. According to 32 degrees, remember it's a right angle triangle back to trigonometrical ratios, grade 10 mathematics. According to this, this is opposite. X is what? Is opposite. What is it that I'm supposed to calculate BD? It is the adjacent. Which ratio has got opposite and adjacent from our soca tower? Opposite and adjacent from a tan. Opposite over adjacent. So that's the tan of the given angle 32 degrees is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. What is the opposite? That is X over the adjacent, which is our BD. So let's find our BD cross multiply BD. The tan of 32 degrees is equal to X. Remember, we want to find BD in terms of X. So therefore, BD is equal to what? X over tan uh, 32 degrees, right? That's our BD. Where there is BD. From B to D there. It is just like X over what? Tan 32 degrees. What about D to C? D to C can also be calculated in terms of X. You see that it's going to be an easier way now because you'll be just, okay, if I can find this DC already opposite again, adjacent. So we're going to use the same ratio of a tan. Tan of the angle 55 degrees is equal to what? Opposite X over what? The side that we want, which is what? DC. So we can find DC uh, in terms of X. So that's DC times the tan of 55 degrees is equal to X. So to find DC, simply divide by what? The tan of 55. So that's DC is equal to X over tan of 55 degrees. From D to C and this B to D, those are the given dimensions that are combined together as what? 50 meters. The DC that we calculated, which is X over tan 55 degrees, it is the whole length giving us AB. So what was the reason of me determining these in terms of X? It is because we can simply form an equation when it is like that. Guys, they can, you can answer this question the way that you are, in so many ways. So we can use it as an equation now to say BD plus DC. BD plus DC must give us what? 50 meters, the length that we are already given there. Remember, X represents AD. So by calculating X, we are calculating AD. So it is going to be BD, which is X over what? Tan 32 degrees plus DC. Remember DC, we got this one as what? X over tan 55 degrees. This is equal to what? To 50. This is 50. So we can find X. This is same as 1 over tan 32. 1 over tan 55. So X and X are like terms. So you add the coefficients, these numbers. You can simplify it as a decimal. 1 over what? Tan 32, you properly see, okay, this is a, it's just a decimal. It's just like 1,6x plus. So instead, you can just add them. 1 over tan 32 plus what? 1 over tan, 1 over tan uh, 55. Those are the coefficients of what? Of x. So it was going to give us uh, 2, 305 uh, and so on. Just make sure that you keep this value before we round off 2,3005 and so on and so on. With what? With X there. In terms of X, this is equal to 50. So how do we find X? We simply have to divide. Whatever that we are given, that 2,3005 divide it both sides. Divide both sides. Just like that. So meaning to say, we were going to have the value of X. 
So that's 50 divided by the answer that we have as it is on our calculator. So that was going to be 21,74, uh, 734, and so on and so on. To two decimal places, uh, that was 21,73. So this is 21,73. X represent what? AD. Remember, we said on this part, let AD be equal to X. So by solving for X, we are solving for the length of what? Of AD. So therefore, our AD is equal to what? 21,73. So that's 21,73 uh, meters. You use the units as they are given. That is the length uh, from A to point D. So those are the applications, guys, from your grade 10 mathematics. Do not leave any part unattempted from your grade 8 mathematics because that is going to lead you straight to your grade 12. So do not leave any part unattempted. Let's do revise uh, all the basics and go through your question papers as many as you can.